European Union sets down strict guidelines for the production of food animals, from birth right through to slaughter. The department oversees the farmers producing the animals and the food business operators responsible for slaughter and processing of the animals. All farm holdings are registered, all the animals are identified and issued with a passport, all animal movements are recorded, and this information is kept on a central database by the department. The farmer has responsibility for ensuring that the animals selected for slaughter are clean, they're properly identified, they have the correct documentation, and they're fit to travel. This and other information in the animal's history and suitability for slaughter are provided to the slaughter plant as food chain information. Here in Ireland, farmers also aim to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and to improve efficiencies through better management of grassland, animal breeding and nitrogen efficiency. The primary producer hands over the animal's identification papers along with the food chain information document to the food business operator. The food business operator then has a legal responsibility to verify these documents are correct. The animals arrive in our company, have the animal passport. We are able to input all of that information into the computer system of our company and also link up directly with the computer system of the Department of Agriculture. The food business operator has to check each animal to make sure they have accurate identification documents, are clean, they are healthy and have no welfare issues, and they're suitable for presenting to the inspector to carry out anti-mortem examination. Once the animals pass anti-mortem inspection, this information is passed on to the food business operator. The animals that have passed that inspection can now proceed for slaughter. The EU legislation requires the presence of an official veterinarian and support staff throughout the slaughter process. After slaughter, all parts of the animal have to be subject to a post-mortem inspection. This is laid out in EU law and has to be carried out by a suitably qualified independent inspector. The specified risk material is stained and identified and marked and strictly controlled and cannot enter the human food chain. Only meat that passes post-mortem inspection is deemed suitable for human consumption. Only meat that passes post-mortem inspection can have a health mark applied which indicates its status. The traceability of the animal is maintained throughout the slaughter process by means of a label attached to the carcass. Carcasses are graded using a system that indicates the conformity and fat cover of each carcass. It should be noted that beef carcass labels on animals over 30 months old must have a red stripe to indicate that the vertebral column is specified risk material and must be removed as determined by EU legislation. The traceability is maintained throughout the chilling, boning and packing stages of the production and indeed up to the point of sale. After slaughter, the carcass is chilled to 7 degrees Celsius. This process is monitored and maintained right throughout the production process. The cold chain is important to ensure that bacteria do not grow and to extend the shelf life of the product. Hygiene is very important for food safety, for the quality of the product and the shelf life of the product. We obviously have a clean animal policy with our farmers. Then what's next and really important is of having proper facilities, then having staff who are responsible, who have a good culture, who are very well trained. Everything from the proper washing of hands, sterilisation, the proper use of knives and other equipments. Our company is focused on making the ethos of sustainability central to all of our policies. We have an independently verified sustainability plan for our organisation. We have targets on electrical and thermal energy usage, water usage, waste to landfill diversion, emissions and animal welfare. There are comprehensive checks carried out at each of the three stages of the production process. There are checks carried out at farm level as part of the Sustainable Beef and Lamb Assurance Scheme then again at slaughter and at processing. Under EU legislation, the food business operator is responsible for carrying out microbiological testing of the processing environment, of the water that's used and of the meat itself. The competent authority is responsible for carrying out a range of other tests, including testing for residues. We serve the top-level retailers, the top-level restaurants, 
food service customers in Europe. We export to the United States, Canada, to the Far East, Africa, to Hong Kong and to Japan. All consignments destined for export to countries outside of the EU are checked by staff of the department to ensure they meet with the specific and general requirements of that market. Finally, only products which meet with the requirements of the importing country are certified by the department. It's all about producing safe food, sustainable food, quality food and giving a reliable service to our customers and an enjoyable experience to our consumers. Thank you.